What's up, Broke Bites? It's me, Keith Gomlin. Here to tell you about Thanksgiving. It's a time of thanks, and a time of giving that thanks too. Not just holding it to yourself. And what better way to give thanks to your family, your friends, all these other people? By making the cheapest meal ever that's delicious. Let's get into it. All right, folks, I'm here with roommate Eon Johnson. Eon, say hi. Hello. We've got sandwich right here, Thanksgiving special. Wow, all right, Thanksgiving special. What are you tasting? You like it? That's really good. Mm. Got the Eon seal, seal approval. The stuffing, is that turkey? It is turkey. Mm. Reminds me exactly of Thanksgiving. Yeah. See, it's a heartwarming meal. <laughs> Broke bites. All right, folks at home. Step number one. You're gonna get a few pieces of sourdough. Take some butter. Spread it on there, like so. Nice and gentle, nice and even. You wanna be one with the butter. You must go with the butter. Can't, can't force the butter to go somewhere it doesn't want to go. Just a nice thin layer of butter for to get it nice and crispy on the grill because we like crispy bread. And off topic, I wonder who invented toast? Who baked bread and said, bake it again? Genius. See that? Nice and even on the bread, delicious. And what you're gonna to wanna to do next with these Throw them on the stove until they're nice and crispy and golden. So when you're toasting your buttered bread, you wanna put the butter side on the stove. This is gonna make crisp out, good flavor, and it gives it a good crisp and a good crunch, really holds the bread together, perfect. So butter on bread, toast it like that. You don't need your silly little toaster oven anymore. Who uses those? It's 2020, grow up. Waiting for the stove to heat up. So if you're unlike me, you must have probably leftovers from Thanksgiving. I had to make my own. Here's some stuffing. Oh my goodness, that smells so good. Oh baby, oh baby, oh baby you. Oh baby you. All right, our stove is nice and hot. Probably from my singing. So I'd like to take this moment to Acknowledge the holiday of Thanksgiving. So, um, I love giving thanks. Um, thankful for food. The holiday season, it's time for treats, it's time for food, it's time for gifts, it's time for loved ones. And you know what it is not for? Spending your entire hard earned money. That's why the sandwich is perfect, it's cheap. It's leftovers, man. Like. You can't get any cheaper than leftovers. Love me some leftovers. But when it comes to Thanksgiving, why don't you go ahead and drop a comment below. Tell me what you're thankful for. Something unorthodox. I don't want to see what everyone else says because I know you're thankful for friends and family and good health. Everyone is. Who isn't thankful for that? Give me something weird that you're thankful for in the comments below. All right, so our bread's nice and toasted. You're gonna want it to look something like that, nice and golden. And our next step, you're gonna get your mashed potatoes. Mine's in a Thanos mug. You wanna get a good amount of it? And spread it all on that, oh yeah. I'm gonna get a good layer of mashed potatoes. like so. Next, what you can do, take your turkey. If you want it warm, go ahead and throw it on the stove for a little bit. If you don't mind, you just throw it on the sandwich. Turkey ain't bad cold. What do you think Mama made those turkey sandwiches out of? Cold turkey. Yeah, open this, what the heck. What I'm gonna do real quick, throw these on the grill, on the stove, heat them up a little bit, get them a little hot. 
heavy. You don't want to cook them all the way through or else you're going to overcook the turkey. So just throw them on there for about 30 seconds a piece. Uh, warm it up nice and nice. And swag. Oh, you know what else you can do while you're waiting? Throw your Swiss cheese on. You should have opened all these. All right, so we've got turkey, we've got cheese, we've got mashed potatoes. Now time to get fun. So we're getting a little bit more interesting with it. I've got some stuffing right here. Mine is not homemade. Um, I don't know actually how to make stuffing. Not really sure what stuffing is made out of, but one day I'll find out. So as you can see, I kind of loaded up on the stuffing. And so, finishing touches. So we got some uh, roasted turkey gravy. You know what, take it. some sauce on it. Not too much, unless you like gravy like that, then go ham with it. Next, there's a final garnish on top. Got craisins. sandwich, you can cut it in half if you like. I'm used to working in a restaurant, so. And, voila! You have yourself a leftover Thanksgiving turkey sandwich. Mashed potatoes, stuffing, turkey, cranberries, Swiss cheese. Doesn't get more at day after Thanksgiving than this. She's a little bit messy, but, whoo, baby. I might have done something magnificent. I think I'm gonna cry. It's so good. It's Broke Bites! Thank you so much for watching Broke Bites. I'm your host, Kiefer Donlin. As always, like and subscribe to the channel. We'd love to have you part of the fam. And these holidays, while you're with your family, your loved ones, your friends, I just want you to take a second at some point to remember the real hero of the holidays, Macaulay Culkin. We love you, Macaulay. All right, everyone, be safe and have happy holidays.